Here with uh, Paul Mortimer from Kick It Out. Uh, there will be people who have, have no idea of what Kick It Out do, but mm. for those who maybe aren't as aware, just give us a bit of an insight into how it all runs. Yeah, we're, we're Football's Inclusion and Diversity Campaign, and we work with everyone in football from grassroots, um, players, scholars, that's young professionals, uh, managers, um, the, the decision makers, the, the sporting uh, uh, bodies, the, the, the governance bodies, the FA and, and the Premier League. We work with everyone and what we are is we're not a sanctioning body, we're a, a campaigning charity that helps to educate, raise awareness um, and empower people to be able to report any issues that they, they, they may experience and be able to deal with all the issues they experience. So looking at it from a women's football perspective, yeah. is there anything you're looking to do in that area at the moment? I think um, in a couple of weeks, I think it's the, the weekend of the, of the 29th, we, we have uh, uh, dedicated fixtures. Um, and I think yours is a week earlier, where it's a celebration actually of equality and diversity. Where um, And for the first time, women's Super League clubs are, 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 are playing a part. One of the things we also want to try and do is, is raise awareness for all players as to the role that they have you know, in, in combating the, the, the discrimination they may face. Because a lot of, uh, uh, some, some players in my experience, you know, <laughs> There's a powerlessness to it, so they'll they'll probably laugh things off. But what we're saying is, you know, it's important for for all players to find a way to be able to deal with the issues and confront them and and and, and, and try to, to report them as best they can. Um, and what we try to do is offer support, guidance, and advice and education if the players need it. So, do you talk about the players there? Is there a particular aim that you want to achieve in five, ten years down the line in terms of talking about it? Yeah. Well, what we want to do is is not just talk about it, is not talk about it anymore. It's to be able to have a, a group of players or a society around football that is proactive, that leads the way. Because you know, people do look at football. And football gets the blame for a lot. So, you know, and, and it, all it does is reflect certain aspects of society. So, within football, we have a responsibility to conduct ourselves in the in the right way and set the right example for those that watch, for those that, that idolise the players, for those that copy the players, it's important for us to be able to set the right tone and education is key to that and that's what we stress, is to, to educate yourselves, to empower yourselves to be able to deal with the situations that, that are in hand and, and to be able to report what needs to be reported and it's not just about sanctions, it's about educating people as well. What for the ladies designated game is against Sheffield FC ladies. Exactly. What you've said in this interview here, is there anything else you might want to add to the fans in attendance? Fans in attendance, um, behave yourselves. That's what I would say. Um, have respect. Treat people as you'd want to be treated. Because what we want for everyone at the, uh, uh, going to a game is that the match day experience is one that they want to repeat again. Not one that, that, that they're frightened of, of coming to. Brilliant. Thanks very much. You're very welcome.